Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. So as you've seen, we've been quite busy this week. It's one of those things that, like my mountains, it takes a bit of time. You know, we can't spend all that time doing it work and all sorts. So this week, we've got a few things that we are carrying on with. I am carrying on with my mountains. Um, they are still a feature of this um, this show, I suppose. Uh, but it is coming along. A few finer details that have been added on the live. We've created a little bit here. Might have to retouch the colour because green blends in a lot. Um, but I really think it is starting to show shape. Especially somebody that carried on with his... Uh, with his uh, hill that hasn't quite finished yet, but I'm sure he will get onto that. We also have Rob doing some electrics today. So, I hope everyone is keeping well. I know the weather is starting to change. We've had some bad weather as well. So do help, uh, help. Hope everyone is keeping well there as well. And the hatches are battened down. And that was the Alexa going off. But yes, more electrics from Rob as well. So I know you guys do like your electrics. I think he's planning to get it all running a bit smoother on that side. Yeah. So guys, I think we're going to head off now, carry on with what we're doing. Oh, and I think I've been told I'm doing a bit of kit bashing as well. So guys, we're going to carry on and we'll catch you in a bit. Bye. Ronnie, what we got? We got switches. So obviously some of the stuff I want to um, be able to turn on and off, like the street lights, um, that welding board that we were given, um, maybe the windmills and stuff, I don't know, during the day. So what I've done off camera is created this block, um, just a spare piece of wood that we've had, just wide enough for these switches to go in. And that's going to be mounted up next to the Oh my god, what's it called? Gauge Master Controller. That was it, that's the word I'm looking for. Also, are you going to tell the viewers that watch the live you didn't do this on the layout this time? You're drilling. Oh yeah, I didn't drill into the, didn't drill into the board like I did on the live. But you did fix it. I did fix it. So with these, obviously, two pole. Um, you could put the positive or the negative. So you're coming from your power into the switch and then out of the switch to your actual source, like the welding board and things like that. You can you can use positive or negative. I'm just going to stick with using positive on these, but you do need to make sure that your two spades. I have tested this already because um, it has got a very clear on and off marker on the front of it. Do a little test. Make sure your switch works the proper way. So when it's up there the item comes on when it's down it's off luckily these ones when it's up there it is actually the positive spade there so when it's down that's when it go when it goes off i'm not going to bore you guys like we always do here at rgj um just a thought rob you're cool. talking about positive spades yes i have no clue what you mean so there might be viewers that might not quite know what you mean so I don't know if it's worth saying. Well, you get the male and female connectors, basically. Um, this is a male connector, and then you get the female connector. Sadly, I haven't got any of the female ones, so I'm just going to actually solder, them, solder the wires direct to these. But yes, that, that's a spade, or a male connector. Call it what you will. So, as I say, before somebody so very rudely interrupted, like I always do with hers, um, I'll get these all wired up in hyperlapse. I've got plenty, I've got probably three or four that are spare, but I'm still wiring them up. Redundant for now, but further down the line, it'll be different things I'll want and switch, wanting to be able to switch on and off. Okay guys, so I'll hyperlapse this so you can watch it.
So this is what it'll look like in the end. I'm obviously going to clean this up as well. Um, you'll, you did notice that I was checking them before I actually soldered the wires to the switches. <coughs> Excuse me. It's worth checking the non soldering it. It takes a couple of seconds to check with a little battery pack. Um, so they're soldered in there and the wires just come out the back. And I've also used a heat shrink tidy, but it also prevents the two wires from touching each other and shorting out. And that's what it'll look like. I'll do the rest off the camera. Uh, show you the end result including labels um, whilst Grace does her bit of kit bashing. Right so apart from um, sticking labels obviously at the start only a few of them will have like we, I've got redundant ones there as well this is all but complete I painted it the brown just to try and tidy it up a bit there's the back of it that looks a bit messy um, but that's so I can have more control over the lighting and scenery and everything um, maybe a later down the line um, doing like points and stuff but they'll be on different switches so yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys thank you very much so it's my turn so those who had seen the last video would have seen we managed to get given this amazing little station station it's on the I'm doing it's, you it's now a, it's a bargain finds video um, so we're kind of like gonna do a kit bashing of it now something I'd heard before was these plastic wallets you can buy now, on the video, it probably looks like you can see through, but when you bring it further away, it's the clouded ones, like you'd have your uh, frosted windows. So, hoping for the top half of this to do the frosted windows look. So, I'm just going to try and kit bash, get it attached to this, and then we've got to paint the lights up that, the yellow colour as well, to keep it from shining so bright. I'm just going to crack on with that, guys. So we're back again, and those of you who watch me as Madame Metcalf, that name's definitely sticking from that, I'm keeping oh, that. Oh, yes, yes, you are now I am, Madame Metcalf. I am Madame Metcalf. Well, because we sourced the other windows, it meant I had all these spare. And as everyone says, keep what you don't use. The reason being is we're now going to use them for in here. We're going to go with the large R ones for these bigger windows. And then we have the smaller sheets that work for the windows. And luckily just fit the side as well so i'm going to go and kit bash the windows onto the lower ones as well and then have the frosted ones at the top
So guys, you may have noticed on the hyperlapse just how fiddly that was, but I got there in the end. Reason being, I haven't done the other side yet. I will do that off of the time lapse. But as you can see now here, I've put the tissue there just to try and show you guys the lines. I'm not sure how, uh, ah, that would help if I do that. So I've managed to use the large aisle windows that are in the church set in these bigger windows. And then with the doors, we have the small ones. So because of the size, it has created a different pattern, which is brilliant. So you've got the full straight banners here. And then on these ones, you, we've got slightly curved just because of getting it to fit in. The sides will also be the smaller ones. I haven't got enough of the bigger ones, unfortunately. But that's that one done. It's very fiddly, so I do apologise if the camera angles at certain points as well didn't quite show you what I was doing. But having both sides, it wasn't the easiest to try and get that angle in there for you. And we also have our frosted windows now complete. We have kind of thought of a new idea, but we're not sure yet. So I'm going to have an experiment and see how that goes. So that will probably be on next week's just to add something different. And we are all lighted, lighted. We are all lit up inside as well. So guys, that's it for us this week. Thank you very much to everyone as always. If you're new to the channel, a very big welcome. Please subscribe and hit that bell button and then you'll get notifications. And everyone else, thank you as always. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button. Thanks everyone. Have a good week ahead. Bye for now.